I'm astronomer Doug Duncan of the Fisk Planetarium at the University of Colorado Boulder. Welcome to Explorations, the series that takes a look into NASA's diverse projects and the people who make them happen. What do the raw materials of our solar system look like? How much can you learn with a quick look? For the past 10 years, the New Horizons spacecraft has been flying at 36,000 miles an hour, one of the fastest objects ever built. It will only take New Horizons a few minutes to make a close approach to a tiny chunk of rock and ice named MU69, the farthest object we've ever endeavored to visit. New Horizons flew by Pluto in 2015, and it revealed a fascinating world. Pluto's surface varies greatly, from mountains and craters to smooth areas like the giant heart-shaped region called Sputnik Planum. Pluto has mountains made of ice, the size of the Rocky Mountains on Earth. At 200 degrees below zero, ice is as hard as rock. To astronomers' surprise, many parts of Pluto have few craters. Since craters build up over time from meteorite impacts, something has erased them. Pluto must be geologically active hotter inside, so that flows similar to glaciers on the Earth have erased the craters. We now know that Pluto isn't alone. There are thousands of objects beyond Neptune. Many orbit in what's called the Kuiper Belt. Some are actually the size of Pluto, though most are smaller. Some, like Pluto, have orbits that are oval or elliptical and not circular. Some, like Pluto, get as close to the sun as Neptune. And if they come too close to Neptune, their orbits may be changed by a gravitational pull. Astronomers think this is often the source of new comets, icy bodies that zoom in toward the sun, growing a tail as they do. Every few decades, we see a new, bright, spectacular comet, and we're overdue. Once New Horizons passed Pluto, astronomers wondered if it could be steered to any other object. The Hubble Space Telescope found one. Five combined exposures with Hubble found a tiny moving dot that's orbiting the sun farther than Pluto. It's called MU69, and it's even farther out in the Kuiper Belt. Kuiper Belt objects are interesting because they're remnants of the material that formed our solar system. Material closer to the center of the solar system formed the sun and the planets. This all happened four and a half billion years ago, and you can't find any four and a half billion year old rocks on the Earth. Erosion has worn them all away but objects in the Kuiper Belt are raw materials left over from the beginning of the solar system. They can give us clues to help understand how the solar system formed. And the most preserved objects, such as MU69, give us a direct look into the distant past. Little is known about this rocky relic, but astronomers realized that it would pass in front of some stars in what's called an occultation. When MU69 passes in front of stars, it casts a shadow that crosses different places on the Earth, allowing astronomers to measure MU69's approximate size. So astronomers went to Argentina, and they went to Senegal, and here's what they discovered. There was a shadow from MU69, roughly 20 miles in size. And it isn't round. It seems to be dumbbell-shaped. In January 2019, New Horizons will race by MU69. 
From a distance of only 2,000 miles, MU69 will look about as big as the moon does in our sky. With the instruments on New Horizons, astronomers will be able to zoom in and learn about this ancient object. What will we see? New Horizons is nearly four billion miles from the Earth, so its signals will take six hours to reach us, even traveling at the speed of light. At that distance, the download speed is slow, so slow that it would take several months to stream an episode of Game of Thrones. We'll have to be patient, but astronomers all over the world will eagerly await as New Horizons continues to sharpen our knowledge of the solar system. What new discoveries await? On behalf of NASA and Fisk Planetarium at the University of Colorado Boulder, thank you for joining us for this episode of Explorations.